Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. A while back I did a two PC setup in less than two minute video on the Go XLR. Today we're going to be doing a similar video, but for Elgato's Wave XLR. Now the whole point of why I wanna do these two minute or less setups is so that you don't have to listen to me yammer on about these products and what I think about them. You can just get straight to the setup, but I wanna yammer for a second. So if you wanna get straight to the setup, I've included some timestamps in the description below. I have configurations for both the Wave XLR connecting to the gaming PC, as well as connecting to the streaming PC. So choose whichever one works best for you. Uh, full disclosure, I've had this for a while now. I put my order in the same day that they announced the product and it's just kind of been sitting here. Things got a little crazy with my day job and I just didn't have a lot of time to do a proper review of the Wave XLR. And by now there are plenty of setup guides and reviews and so on and so forth. So I'm not here to bring you one of those. What I wanted to do was bring you a video that you really haven't seen before because I was searching everywhere for how to do this and I couldn't really find a lot of answers that worked for me anyways. This isn't going to be a video where I walk you through how to set up your Wave XLR, adding all of your channels and dialing in your microphone and all that. We are simply going to be looking at how we get our gaming PC and our streaming PC to communicate with each other so that we can send it all to OBS for streaming. I really like using the Wave Link software. It makes it nice and easy to control everything, but there is one big issue with this device when it comes to a two PC setup, and that is that there is no line out on the back of this device, which makes it incredibly hard to figure out how to route your audio properly into OBS. So this is the Elgato Wave XLR dual PC setup in under two minutes. All right, so we have our Wave XLR plugged into our gaming PC. All the inputs are set up so we can control everything in the Wavelink software. But since the Wave XLR has no line out, what we need to do is we need to use the HDMI coming from the GPU of the gaming PC and send that over to the streaming PC's capture card. All right, so on your gaming PC, you're gonna open up your sound settings and then open the sound control panel. Once you do that, you're gonna navigate to the recording tab and you're gonna look for Wavelink Stream. Open the properties on Wavelink Stream. Under the Listen tab, you're going to want to make sure that the Listen to this device box is checked and playback through this device is set to your GPU's audio. For me, that's NVIDIA. For you, it might be something else. Click Apply and OK. And now our stream mix is going to be sent via HDMI to our streaming PC. All right, so on our streaming PC, we're going to once again open up the sound control panel and navigate to the Recording tab. In here, you should see your capture card audio as a device. I'm using the Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2. If you don't see your capture card audio here, chances are you're going to need to download the driver for it. We're going to open up our settings in OBS, and all that we need to do now is select our capture card audio as our input under Mic Auxiliary Audio. So we've got our game. Now we're gonna bring in some music. Our setup is now complete. We have all of our inputs being managed by the Wavelink software over in our gaming PC, which is being compiled into the stream mix, which is being sent through the HDMI to the streaming PC and into OBS. So the problem I found with this configuration is that unlike the Go XLR, we can't take our streaming PC audio and route it back into the device so that we can get our alerts coming from OBS. The best solution I can offer right now is that you run OBS on your gaming PC as well and add your alerts as a browser source. Set those to monitor only in advanced audio, and this should allow you to hear your alerts in your headphones on your gaming PC. I was gonna use voice meter to try to route audio back from the streaming PC, but then I remembered how much I hate using voice meter, so I didn't. Let me know in the comments if voice meter would be a viable option for this. I personally just don't enjoy using voice meter and I wanted to go with the simplest setup possible. All right, so we have our Wave XLR hooked up to our streaming PC. All the inputs are going to be managed through the Wavelink software, but we still need to go grab the audio from our gaming PC. To do that, we're going to have our capture card listen to the audio coming from our graphics card on our gaming PC. So here on our streaming PC, we're going to open up sound control panel and navigate to the recording tab. Once you're in the recording tab, you're gonna go down and find your capture card audio. For me, I'm using the Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2. If you do not see your capture card listed here, you might need to download a new driver for it. So we're going to open up the properties on our capture card audio device, and we're going to go to the listen tab. And under play through this device, we're going to select our Wavelink game channel. So now our game channel is picking up the audio from our graphics card on our gaming PC, and we can control the volume of this using the sliders on either the headphone mix or the stream mix. Now in OBS, we're going to bring in the stream mix from the Wavelink software 
All you need to do is open up settings, go to the audio tab, and we're going to select Wavelink Stream as an input device under Mic Auxiliary Audio. This really is a great device, uh, especially for the price of the unit is $160, I think. This is not a sponsored video. And by the way, if you are enjoying the content and would like to support me, all I ask is that you hit the little thumbs up button there and maybe consider subscribing. Bumps me up in the YouTube algorithm and all that jazz. I do appreciate it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this setup in the comments below. Let me know if it helped you, if it caused more issues, if I ruined your whole day. <sighs> That's sad. I will be streaming a lot more here on YouTube, so feel free to come in and say hello if you see me live. Please let me know if you're enjoying these shorter videos that just get right into the setup. I certainly enjoy doing them for you. And let me know if there's any other content that you'd like to see from me. Thank you for watching.